In this video, we're going to go over a bubble sort. A bubble sort is just an algorithm to sort numbers in an array, either from greatest to least or least to greatest. In this video, we're going to do least to greatest. Notice I already start out with an array, and I with an array right here, this array, and a method to print that array. And we're just going to focus on the actual sorting algorithm itself, so we'll print it uh, we'll print it before it's sorted and we'll print it after it's sorted. So let's create the method to sort it. Public void bubble sort. Bubble sort. And it will need to take in an array. So int array. And we'll name that bubble sort method so we can keep track of it. So inside this, uh, we're going to need a temporary variable. So we'll just declare it up there. Then we just basically have a series of two for loops and an if statement inside here to switch these. So for int i equals zero, while i is less than the array dot length, we will iterate that by one each time. So i plus plus. Inside that for loop, we immediately need another for loop. So for int j equals one. Well, j is also less than the array dot length minus i. We'll iterate that by one each time. And what we want to do is if array j minus one is greater than the array at j. So we're just comparing two things that are next to each other. We will swap those two variables. So temp is going to equal array j minus 1. Array j minus 1 will be equal to array j. And then we set array j equal to temp. So array j equals temp. So we'll get all those. If we get to this point in the array where you actually are switching two things. And that right there seems pretty short. But that is the bubble sort. So for int j and for int i. So just to make sure this is working just fine, we need to call the bubble sort method. We'll do that. Let's see, we've created the array. Actually, inside this, we'll call the bubble sort inside here. So we'll print array, and then we'll send in the sorted array. And we'll say... Uh, here we'll call bubble sort, and we need to send in the array. Alright, so this should print the regular array, then the printed array. Oh, and uh, one other thing, we do need to put a space in between those. So first it prints out the regular array, 2, 18, 12, 13, 27, there's really not any kind of order for that. but then it prints out the bubble sorted array, 2, 12, 13, 18, 27, 86, 94. So it prints all those in order. If we want to reverse the order, we can change that right there. And then it should be in reverse order, 94, 86, 27, 18, 13, 12, 2. So this right here changes the order that it's in. So I'll just put a comment, change, to for descending order. And the program's working just fine. I always hope this video helped you understand bubble sort a little bit better. If you would like another video in Java, uh, anything really, please let me know and I'll try to do that for you if I can. Thanks for watching.